Ah, Trackmania. The game you've always wanted, but you just never knew about. Now, out of the 13 Trackmania games that have been released, Stadium will be our focus for today. Trackmania Stadium was released by Nadeo, which is a French branch of the Ubisoft company. The game itself was announced in November of 2012, it went into open beta in February of 2013, and then saw its subsequent release in June of 2013. This is the 10th game to be released in the long line of Trackmania games, which dates all the way back to 2003 with Trackmania Original. But we're not here to talk about the original, we're here for Stadium. So without much further ado, let's just get right into it. Stadium's menu, much like every other menu in the series, is short, sweet, and to the point. You'll be presented with four options, first being Solo, which contains the game's campaign of 65 tracks to master. The campaign also does feature a global leaderboard with times being ranked from your state or province, up to your country, up to your region, and finishing at the world. Depending on what time you post, you'll be given a certain amount of skill points, or SP. These can be used to compare your skill to others in your state or province, your country, your region, and the world. Master the tracks here and see where you place on the ladder. And just remember, no matter how quickly you finish a track, there's always going to be somebody who's done it faster. Online play is the multiplayer aspect of the game, which is where this game truly shines. Community run servers is what has kept this game speeding along as it has for so many years, but We'll get into that later. Local play allows for friendly competition between players from the comfort of your PC, with special formats and game modes to spice things up a little bit. Single map lets you play any downloaded map. This can be good for practicing before competition or just for fun. Versus replay lets you race against saved ghosts, either ghosts that you have saved or ghosts from other players that you have downloaded. Hot Seat provides a fun twist on racing, such as giving the player a gasoline limit to complete a track, and Local Network allows for LAN parties to be made. And last but not least, the Editor tab. Here, players can edit cars by painting and applying stickers to them, editing saved replays to make videos of, and even create their own tracks that can be played by the community. The Title Tools tab can also be used to create new items, interfaces, and much more to create a completely different experience for the game. Players can also access their profile statistics, their car selection, and more from an option that's tucked away in the upper right corner of the menu. This is only visible to you, leaving you to edit what you deem fit. Stadium's controls are comprised of only four buttons, Accelerate, Brake, Retire, and Respawn. You can also steer, but that really should go without saying. Players can drive in whatever fashion feels most comfortable to them, meaning you can race with a keyboard, a controller, a racing wheel, a Guitar Hero guitar, a dance pad, it, pretty much anything that can be plugged into a PC. But the controls here have much more depth than just driving forwards and backwards. For example, techniques like the Neo Slide allow you to round a corner much tighter than normal, and speed drifting allows you to gain speed simply by drifting which can be useful on some certain tracks. These techniques seem simple enough, and they are, but they can take hours upon hours to master. Just watch how other players race and maybe you'll learn a thing or two. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the multiplayer. Multiplayer is where this game truly shines, so much so in fact that it was awarded six world records by Guinness Book of World Records in their 2008 Gamer Edition, with such accolades as largest content base of any racing game, the biggest online race, and most popular online racing sim. But the community's commitment to the game didn't stop after the awards were handed out. Even now, players across the world are pumping out custom tracks, car skins, and even new car models every day. Players come together to race in a variety of styles and formats, the most common being Time Attack, which is as simple as a race from point A to point B as fast as possible. Popular formats for Time Attack are Tech, which focuses on using techniques such as Neo Sliding to complete the course, Full Speed, which literally wants you to go as fast as possible to complete the course, and RPG, a mode where a race can last half an hour to an hour to even a couple hours and involve very precise driving to complete. 
One thing that separates Trackmania's multiplayer racing from other games in the same category is the exclusion of collision detection between players. Now, normally when one player's vehicle comes into contact with another, a crash occurs, causing a loss of speed, alter trajectory, time loss, and the potential of having your car face the wrong direction entirely. In Trackmania, however, players simply pass through one another. This keeps players from intentionally blocking the path and ruining runs for others. Even now, almost six years after Stadium's release, player counts still average about 4,000 to almost 7,000 daily players. And as if Trackmania couldn't get any better, it has its own humble esports scene with tournaments running throughout the year. Prizes are usually small, ranging from Deo goodies to a couple hundred dollars, to even a couple thousand dollars. But one of the newest and most exciting tournaments to rise from the scene, however, is the Trackmania Grand League, or TMGL. TMGL is, quote, the first one to be officially run by Trackmania video game developers, the Ubisoft Nadeo team, in collaboration with Omar Softy bin Abdallah and ZQSD Productions Company, with their objective being to, quote, gather competitive players and mainstream actors around an esport accessible to everyone. TMGL features 16 of the best stadium players from 13 countries around the world, all vying for a piece of the 10,000 euro prize pool, with an extra 100 euros being thrown in for every track a player wins. TMGL runs in a step format and is currently preparing for its 10th and final step at the time of recording, which means that playoffs are just around the corner. But there are countless other smaller tournaments for every style of driving that are more beginner friendly, meaning that you won't have to step up to attract Mania's best right away. So you get all this. The tracks, the cars, the community, the talent, the excitement. For how much? $10 is all it takes to hop into the driver's seat and race your way to the top. And if someone tells you that this game is dead, just remember, the game isn't truly dead until all the servers have been shut down, and with the dedicated community behind this beloved series, this game will be around long into the future. So, what are you waiting for? The race has already started.